Okay, this is how we're going to import an SFZ file into Audio Layer. First, you want to check to make sure the FC file is correct, has the samples in the correct location. So, rename it by changing extension to a text file so it can look at it in Audio Share. And then we can select it, scroll down to the region area where it says sample equals auto sax backslash auto sax name of the wave file. So that's all correct. Let's get all the correct files. So we use the Files app and we transfer those over to the on my iPad. And then we go to the auto layer file. Select SFZ. And then it starts importing them in. And so all of these files were earlier transferred in from the audio share section using the files app. You go to the on my iPad location, you check audio layer, and then inside audio layer, there's an import folder. And it's in the import port folder section where we have both the altosax.sfz file and the altosax folder with all of the samples it's going to use. And that's what's important right now with all that scroll, scrolling green text. And when that's through, then we just, we'll see all the little regions and we'll just go ahead and test the sounds to make sure it's working as expected. And that's basically how you go about importing an SFZ file into the newly updated version of Audio Layer.